Wait. These cards are kind of mid. Howdy Crystal Conclave, it's Neshi and we're reviewing the three new Crystal Beast cards, the spell, the traps, and we're going to do a deck profile and a little bit of test hands. So, first of all, I have to give a quick shout out to my man Pain96. This guy leads everyone to a treasure that he cannot possess. He also predicted the counter trap was going to be a thing when I asked what you guys wanted for the Crystal Beast structure deck. Why do so many people want a Crystal Beast counter trap that activates by sending one Crystal Beast spell in the spell and trap zone to the graveyard? So many of y'all wanted that. I don't understand why. Even Pain himself. He wants a counter track that sends a continuous spell to the, to the grave to negate an effect. Thank goodness the new Crystal Beast counter trap does better than that. It actually destroys a Crystal Beast card, which is just better than the sending one and then no grave effect either. I can't believe y'all. Konami, you did better than the Crystal Beast fan base this time. So let's go ahead and review what these cards are. We have Crystal Protection. Target a Crystal Beast monster card you control, destroy it, then special summon a Crystal Beast token with the same stats. Now this token does count as another name. It allows you to summon Rainbow Dragon faster, and I believe that you can banish the token to summon Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. I'm not sure, but that would be sweet if you can. But it does have a grave effect. Special summon a Crystal Beast card from your Spell and Trap Zone if you place another one by banishing this card from the graveyard. And then next we have Crystal Grace, which special summons up to two Crystal Beasts from your Spell and Trap card zone. And if you do, gain life points. And ladies and gentlemen, that's time in the round. If a Crystal Beast card is placed in your Spell and Trap zone while this is in your graveyard, even during the damage step, because it's a trap card, I guess, you can banish it, excavate the top card. If, a crystal, if it's a Crystal Beast, you have to special summon it or add it to your hand. And if not, you send it to the graveyard. So, kind of a little bit of RNG until you realize that Cobalt Eagle stacks one to the top of the deck, or you can use Illusion of Chaos. We'll get into that later. But then the final card, Crystal Miracle. This one, I'm just going to say it right now. This is the best reveal out of all the Crystal Beast cards we've gotten so far from the structure deck, including Overdrive. So this one, not once per turn, negates a spell trap card or monster effect by destroying a Crystal Beast card you control, which is sweet because it can actually be a continuous Crystal Beast or a Crystal Beast monster. So we can actually trigger Conclave during our opponent's turn. There's a searchable conclave trigger that we didn't have before. You know, Crystal Raigeki has to destroy an opponent's card. Super Rush and Torrential Tribute are searchable only off Trap Trick, but not off Rainbow Bridge. So this is pretty sweet that we get a counter trap with a grave effect as well. So you can banish it from your graveyard if a Crystal Beast card is crystallized to Sapphire Pegasus, another crystal. And we're keeping up with the biblical names here. Crystal Protection, Crystal Hashtag Saved by Grace, and a true crystal miracle. Not only that, but we also have new reprints announced. We have Rainbow Dark Dragon, Crystal Master, and Crystal Keeper, Rainbow Ruins, Beacon, Abundance, Rare Value, Advanced Dark, and the hope continues for a hollow conclave. Something other than common. This card has three printings now, and it's only common, so hopefully we can get a super ultra conclave. That would be amazing. I am a little bit disappointed to see that Advanced Dark and Rainbow Dark Dragon made it in. At this point, we're not getting the Advanced Crystal Beast. You know, just take the reality pill. We're not getting them. These are the only two dark cards that exist in the Crystal Beast archetype. And look, we have the Advanced Crystal Beast right there. But, you know, Cyber Darks did come out in the Cyber Dragon structure deck, the Cyber Strike structure deck. So I guess we can, we can make room for these two if we need to. So the journey continues with the structure deck hype season. We have this much filled out from the graphic. And man, it looks like we're going, getting a lot more cards still. <laughs> I didn't realize just how many cards were going to be in here. I don't know which generic cards we'd get. Pot of Prosperity is still not out of the question, but you know, with Rare Value being in here and Rainbow Ruins, it does conflict. So we'll see, maybe Droplet. But you know, we still see this kind of strategy of Crystal, we have all of the Crystal Beast spells and traps now, the, the new spell, the new two traps, having grave effects. So what if Crystal Beast is going towards a mill direction? What if, you know, you mill the spells and traps, you know, protection, grace, miracle, and you get extra advantage through them? And if you mill a Crystal Beast, then you're able to just go further into overdrive. So what if that's the direction that we're taking? And if so, 
Grass gets unbanned, baby. Let's go. Crystal Beast Mill, 60 card grass. I would hate to play that. No, please don't do this. <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump into a Crystal Beast deck that utilizes all three of these new support cards. So this card is pretty cool with Illusion of Chaos until you realize that the sequencing sucks. You know, you have to Magician Soul Summon after you I IOC and then draw cards with the souls and use the the Grave Effect of Grace, not to mention Souls sends the Illusion of Chaos from deck, so you shuffle your deck anyway. So the most realistic way to use the Grave Effect of Grace is with Cobalt Eagle's effect. But this deck, you know, maxes out on Souls Illusion of Chaos pre-prep. You have so many cards that Rainbow Bridge searches now. I almost want more Rainbow Bridges. So hopefully a link to that searches a crystal speller trap. You know, sets it from the deck. You know, my Crystal Beast Onyx Gorilla is just so perfect. But this card is just amazing for Conclave Control. We have the Foolish Burial Goods. I don't really want to dump Crystal Grace, Crystal Miracle, Crystal Protection. Might actually because it's a Crystal Promise. But I'm more so I'm just trying to dump this Bridge of Salvation. You know, going along with the Biblical name still, Bridge of Salvation. We can search out that Rainbow Ruins and any Crystal Beast. So, rain even though I could search any field spell, Rainbow Ruins for this kind of deck is still the best because this is Abundance Turbo, Crystal Tree, and then Magician Souls is really just a better rare value for everything. So Magician Souls re really gains a ton of value by sending these new spells and by sending the cards that you gain off of Crystal Tree, maybe Dead Trees and Beacons later on in the game, and gives you so much more advantage. It's almost like Metal Foes sending the combinations. Well, let's go ahead and do a test hand of this deck that really looks like a Crystal Beast kind of weird deck. I would never play this deck in a tournament. I might take it to locals just for fun. <laughs> I will say right now, on stream, we just grinded hands until we found one that was like perfectly suitable to showcase right here. Man, this deck sucks. These cards trigger on very weird conditions, but we'll just go for it. Declare Illusion of Chaos. We're going to search out a Magician Souls. We can Magician Souls send this to Grave Draw One. And that's pretty sweet, actually. We can Foolish Burial Goods, send Crystal Miracle. There are a couple things we can do. We can send Bridge of Salvation, search out a Crystal Beast, and add Rainbow Ruins to hand. But I'm going to do some kind of spicy right here. Send Crystal Miracle. By the way, it should be a counter trap. I'm using custom cards, and I didn't really want to make my own. But then we can summon Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. It uses its effect and places another Sapphire Pegasus from our deck to the Spawn Trap card zone. This triggers both Crystal Miracle and Crystal Protection. We can Protection Chain Link 1 and then Miracle Chain Link 2. Resolves backwards. Miracle is going to crystallize a Ruby from the deck. And then Protection Special Summons a Crystal Beast from our Spawn Trap card zone. So we can summon Ruby. Use its effect. Special summon Pegasus. Use its effect. And then go for a Zenith to our back row. And now this is, this kind of sucks right here. But we can go ahead and do Crystal Protection. It sucks that we couldn't like get this in the graveyard or like destroy anything else. So that Ruby can summon more. But you know, it's, it's fine. They have trigger effects. At least we have Crystal Beast spells and traps that have effects in the grave now. But we're going to go ahead and summon a token that's equivalent to Pegasus. And then we can Zenith Effect, banish itself to special summon a Crystal Beast from the deck. We'll summon out a Amber Mammoth. And add Rainbow Dragon to hand. Then we can overlay these two. For Dweller, we'll link the token and souls for IP Mascarena. So now, and set Conclave. So this was the hand with like a perfect hand. If IP Dweller, IP can summon out Underworld Goddess of the Closed World with its effect, and we have Conclave, and then Rainbow Dragon in hand. So like Floodgate plus in two interruptions, kinda cool. But yeah, that's the deck. It's These cards are very mid. The only good one is Crystal Miracle, this is the best card from release, you know, even better than Overdrive, because this can be used in any Crystal Beast deck. And this is just going to be amazing in Conclave Control. I cannot wait for this card. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.